All right, Hosses, so in the last video, we learned the really basic idea behind the grid system and foundation. Basically, our layout is going to be made up of rows, and inside those rows, we need to fill 12 columns. So this is what we did already, and check it out. Behind the scenes, foundation takes care of all of the responsive stuff for us. We just have to worry about, you know, making the actual content for our website and none of the hard stuff. Pretty sweet. So the next thing I want to demonstrate is how to nest rows. In other words, yeah, right now we have some content in here, just numbers that say four, six, and two, but in the actual website, we're going to want to put, you know, content in there, pictures, buttons, uh, menus, whatever. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to build an entirely new row inside here instead of, you know, just a plain old number. So I'll show you guys how to do that. It's incredibly simple and say that I want to build some content inside this column right here so I'm gonna have a two column layout and I'll just say uh, yeah, I'll just stick with a really basic layout for this demo so let me do this so this is the first column and I'll just say parent column so inside here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build an entirely new row so a new row and inside it the columns have to take up 12 so nothing new pretty much like we're starting from scratch so div class row and inside here we're gonna make two divs I'm just gonna have six and six so div class I'll just say uh, medium six columns and just so we don't have anything boring I'll just write like bacon and so we can actually see it. Let me add a border. So style, border, I'll say one pick, solid red. And let me add another one. Holy tamale, right there. So we're pretty much gonna have a layout inside a layout. Nothing that exciting, but this is how you nest. And let me add a comment that says nested row. nested row so check it out so inside these individual columns we can also have sub layouts so if you want your layout to be a little bit more complex you can do that as well so that's the idea behind a nested row pretty much a row that you can stick inside a column all right uh, let's move on to something a little bit more interesting if you will so that was too easy sure you guys are getting you know antsy because you're like alright that foundation is gonna be a little bit more hard challenging than this well check it out so up to now we have a single layout and we kind of let foundation take care of all of the responsiveness for us but what if we wanted to do something like this what if we said that we wanted to have a layout that whenever you're looking at it on a phone then you're just gonna have it split perfectly down the middle so six on the left and six on the right now whenever you were looking at on the desktop you wanted two on the left so a skinny column and ten on the right alright that sounds like it would be a lot of work right so what foundation allows you to do is really easily make different layouts for different devices and I'll give you guys a little cheat sheet right here so there are three keywords that we need to remember small and whenever you see small, just think of this like mobile and phones. Whenever you see medium, think of this like tablets and um, what are those small things like Chromebooks or little notebooks. This would be a medium sized device. And large, this would just be something like desktop. And this also includes most laptops since laptops have pretty big screens too. So small, medium, and large for phones tablets and desktops and again don't follow these rules strictly because um, some laptops are really small so they may fall into here they started making phones really jumbo as of late so those might fall into medium but these are the general guidelines that you can use so let's design a layout that's different on a phone than a desktop and I'll show you guys the benefit of it so inside a row of course we always need to add up to 12 that rule never changes so 
for the class, let's worry about small first. So small, I'll say six. I'm going to make two columns for small. So small six columns. And I'll say the left. And let me give this background too. So style background equals light slamming. And let me make one more for the right. This is the second time I did that. Embarrassing. So this is going to be the right hand section of the screen. And the background of this is going to be light. Uh, what was my other one? Green. So right now we have a layout that looks kind of like this. So since we only have one stipulation in there of small, no matter what size device we're looking at it, this row right here is always going to be split perfectly down the middle, left and right. So this is the layout that I actually want to have for mobile devices, for small devices. But I'm looking at this on my desktop right now, and I'm like, you know what? This kind of looks goofy on my desktop. The left should actually only be 2, and the right should be 10. So I'm going to hop back in here, and I'm going to add another stipulation that says, actually on large devices, the first one, the left column is going to be 2, and the right one is going to be 10. So now I'm going to refresh this and check it out. So right now, since my screen has taken up the entire width, it's treating it as a large screen device. Left, which would be something like a menu, and the right, which would be our main content. Now, since we don't want to have that on mobile, when we start to shrink it, look what happens. Whenever we get to small, it automatically adapts, so then everything isn't really shrunken, it's split right down the middle. And you can actually have this have separate rules for small, medium, and large, but usually whenever I make a website, I just have small and large because I want um, touch devices like tablets and mobile to act one way, and large screen devices like tablet, I mean, excuse me, laptops and desktop to act another way. But if you wanted, you know, even more control, you can actually have medium in there too. Whatever you want to do, follow your heart. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you nest layouts or nest columns and also how you can make different layouts for different size devices in foundation so a lot of stuff coming in your brain but uh from now on it, it probably gets a little bit easier because we're going to be getting into kind of the fun stuff so now that we understand the basic concepts we're ready to move on to the good stuff next video see you then